In this short video I'm going to explain how to write a signal processing block for the GNU radio companion. First we need to add a new block and we use the GNU radio mod tool. And we add a new block. We want to have a sync block. We want to use Python. Okay, we're going to call it multiply tutorial underscore ff. And now the code was created in the folder. We have the Python folder here and we have here our multiply tutorial. We open this with our favorite editor and we're um, writing the code now. First we need to put in which input and output arguments or types we are using. In our case we are using a float here. We also can write a documentation what the block is doing and of course we want to use a factor at the beginning. So we want to set up a factor. When the block is initialized, we can give a factor as an argument. And this is saved to the variable self point factor, which we can use later in the signal processing block. Okay, now I have written the output um, block. So we have the input. Um, yeah, and we all, and we multiply the input um, samples with our factor, and we put it then to the output block. Okay, we also need to remove the default, and that's it. The next step is to generate a block for the GNU Radio Companion. But first, we want to test if our module is working. So we go to the so we go to our build directory, which we maybe need to add, but I already have it. Okay, we run the CMake command. Okay, and we have an error. No, we have no error. We call make and we are waiting until all the stuff is built and hopefully with no error. Okay, luckily we have no error. Now let's move on and generate the GNU radio companion block. Therefore we go to our main folder and there must be a folder GNU radio companion. Now let's have a look. Here is our um, block and we open it. And now there's a lot of stuff here. We need to fill this out correctly in order to get the multiply block working. Okay, first let's fill out the input and the output argument. So sync is the input type. We have a name. Okay, we call it, let, let's say in, and we need to define a type. We know it's a float. So we just put float here and we do the same for the output type, which is also a float. In the next step, we need to set up our parameter. So of course we want to multiply, so we call it multiply factor. Our key is, let's call it mul factor. So mul factor and as a type, it's also in float. So now a very important step, we need to add the the parameter to the initialization function. So um, if the block is initialized, we just give um, him the factor. And of course we want to change the name multiply tutorial. Okay, in the next step we want to install it and trying it out. So we type sudo make install which now copies all the blocks to the GNU radio um, companion. Now we run GNU radio and now we have a block here which is called multiply tutorium. And now we have our multiply factor. Let's say let's put in 10.1 and now we can see it puts uh, the stuff here. Let's build a small testing block. Now I have have added a throttle, so the the and the noise source, so the data is coming um, here. Oh, let's change this. Um, 
Now the data is coming out of a noise source. One path is going directly to our time sink and one is multiplied with the fact factor of 10. Let's try if it's working. And I think that looks good, but to verify this, we just add another block. Okay, since our function is not very interesting, there is already a function that multiplies by by a certain factor. So let's verify this if if the same comes out and it looks pretty good. Okay, there is another very important fact. You can see here the the f this variable here is underlined. So there is a callback function which can be used to set the the parameter during operation and therefore we need to implement a callback function. Okay, in the first step we just write a function which we call set factor and as this is a parameter we need to put here um, the, the, the pointer to ourself which is the self function and we have um, we just have another variable which is called uh, factor new. Now we just set our factor to our factor new. In our next step we need to go to our block again and we need to define a callback function. So we just write callback here. And now we need to insert the name of the function. So in our case it's called set factor and our parameter is like on the on the line above it's just multiplication factor. Now let's try to um, make it and install it and then we need to um, restart new radio companion and hopefully we have a block now yes it has an underlined variable and we can change it during runtime therefore we define a chooser no oh, not a chooser i want to have a ranger and we call it mool factor and we put the id here and hopefully we have a slider that can be used yes it's working to set the multiplication factor okay thanks for watching and i hope you have learned something